Hi, I'm Jazz Sinclair, and I'm here at 17, and I'm here to tell you about embarrassing moments using emojis. My first on-screen kiss was with Justice Smith uh, for Paper Towns. I was really nervous, this is how I felt before we started shooting, but it ended up actually being really fun, and this is actually not an embarrassing story at all. I'm mostly just saying to Justice, hey, I love you and I miss you. Uh, well, it is embarrassing with all the crew around. Like, it, trying to feel like natural when you're kissing somebody in front of a room full of people, it just doesn't feel natural, and it's also just like, not very sexy. So I was in high school, and I was making out with my boyfriend on the couch, as one does when they have a boyfriend in high school. In walks in boyfriend's mom. And I just remember us like moving so fast to opposite sides of the couch, like trying to pretend like we weren't touching each other at all, and just feeling like so embarrassed. And like, I'm so sorry. His face was like, oh no. I'm so sorry, mom, I swear I'm good. His mom looked like this, so we were in trouble. Yeah, I was doing a, a, a photo shoot and uh, I was doing this cool like pose against a wall or something. And then I had a full on nip slip. And then the costumer like rushed in really fast and like pulled me up, but I didn't even like notice. I was just like, oh, that's a, that's a breeze. I wasn't feeling a second ago. And then the costumer's face looked like this. And she ran in. But I think that it was just me and the costumer who noticed, so. Uh, the day was saved, and there are no photos, but it was embarrassing for sure. The outfit was fire. It was fire. It was really cool. Nip slip and all. It was a great outfit. There was a moment filming on Sabrina, um, and it was me and Kiernan and Justin Dobies and Ross, and uh, we were shooting this scene, and I, we, there was just this line that Kiernan said about soup, like she asks Harvey, like, do you have any soup? And for some reason, like, all of us just found this hysterical and just like lost it every time she said the soup line and would like look at each other and like really try not to laugh. And then you could like feel Ross laughing on the other side and trying to be focused, really trying to like be present in this scene. And then you could like see somebody's eye twitch a little bit with laughter and then you just lose it. You just lose it. Yeah, like whenever I have a crush, I'll just, I just wanna like seem like I'm cool and like no cool things to say, but normally I just end up saying the wrong thing or talking too much or saying something that I don't mean and a feeling like this. But it usually ends up working out because I just flirt it off and act like I didn't say weird things. I was in the elevator with Ali Wong. And this was like two days after I saw her special, so I was totally geeking out. Ali Wong's a comedian, she has specials on Netflix, and uh, I just think that she is so friggin' funny. I just stared at her lovingly during the whole elevator ride, and I didn't say anything, but I knew that she knew that I recognized her, and it was weird, because she just kind of played it off and then walked off the elevator, but I'm still convinced we're gonna be friends someday. I can't think of anything embarrassing that I've done on social media, but like, I gotta move on social media. If I'm like crushing on somebody, I'll like shamelessly scroll, and then I'll just like scroll further and like one further down, like, yeah, I'm checking you out, what's up? What's up? That's my move. That's my move. It has yet to work <laughs> so far. I haven't gotten any responses. I mean, I'm not like looking on social media for a boyfriend, it's mostly, or a girlfriend, I'm mostly just like, you know, yeah. Just peeping. I feel like all school pictures are horror stories. School pictures just don't look good for anybody ever. They're just not cute. I don't think that I was ever prepared for school pictures. Most of the time I would like rush in the bathroom and like try to fix my hair and like, but really like it's, you know, it's not the end of the world. You just have that ID for the rest of your life. School picture emoji. All school pictures are evil. Hmm, I do have an embarrassing moment from an audition. I was doing a, an audition where I had to sing and I was painfully nervous because it was a really hard song, but I was like, you know what? 
whatever, I'm gonna try. You know, you never know until you try. And then, like, about halfway through the song, both me and the person on the piano, like, were very aware of the fact that I was not gonna make it through that song. Um, but I had to finish the rest of the song because I was there and they were there. And I did. And then it was just like this awkward, like, thanks for coming, Nod. Like, we know this isn't going anywhere, Nod. I was in line with my mom and uh, I had to go pee and so I went pee and I came back and then I wrapped my arms around my mother and I went humana, 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 humana. and then this woman like looked down at me like who on earth are you and I just like looked up at her mortified and ran away to my mom and I don't think I've ever been more embarrassed, honestly. Like, I was so excited. I thought I was being so funny. I just like shook her. And uh, if you could imagine some random kid coming up to you and shaking you, she was very surprised. Just like I was very surprised when I looked up and saw that it was not actually my mom. I was probably like 10. Well, my mom did not see it go down, but then I like ran over to my mom and just like cuddled up to her like, very like low key because I wasn't about to pull another big move. I just like stood next to her like, oh thank God, it's really you. I think the humana humana humanas were a regular occurrence before then, um, but I, I think that that moment maybe scarred me away from it because I can't remember the last time I humanaed my mom. It's been a minute. Yeah, an embarrassing or just a, an awkward moment during an interview I was doing uh, press day for when the bow breaks and I just remember this one guy came in and he asked me a question I don't remember what the question was but it was like a dead giveaway that he had not seen the movie because it just didn't have to do with the subject at all hmm really <laughs> oh is that your question and it was just kind of this like awkward moment between us where I was just like yeah I know that you haven't seen this but you're trying to act like you have and I don't really know how to answer that question he thought it was a really good question, and it would have been a good question for a different interview. But I didn't call him out because I didn't want him to feel bad about it. I was just like, this interview is silly. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel and check out The Chilling Adventures on October 26th.